hello my friends welcome to the channel and thank you for watching premier league match week 14 and this is my review for saturday early games arsenal got all three points started very well but at the end, at the end it was a little nervy but the most important is to get three points and we're gonna also talk about uh, some other two games and remember that still two games to go nottingham forest against everton and newcastle united against manchester united so brentford they beat luton town 3-1 at home and the best uh, result for me today being this one between burley and sheffield united you know i i really appreciate and like Vincent company in the personal level I don't want him to be to get sucked and he got three points the first win of the season in the Premier League of course and they won it in style we're gonna go through some details but before anything you know what to do help this channel subscribe share comment down below and give the video a like it's not gonna cost you anything my friend it's gonna take you just one second to do it. Thank you so much and let go. All right, my people, let's start by this game here. Burnley against Sheffield United 5-0. And Burnley, to be honest, they, they got some help because uh, Sheffield United got a, a red card. So it was like, 10 against 11 but before even that red card Burley were playing beautiful football they were determined to win this game and even myself i said uh, in my preview that this is the game that vincent company and and the boys need to get three points because um this is the team that is around them so if you don't beat sheffield united it's like the whole project, nobody is going to believe in you anymore, you know? So, Rodriguez scored for them. Larson. Amrudi. Uh, Luca Colecho. And also, Brown Hill. Five-star Burley. I, I, I mean, they, they should celebrate today, okay? I don't blame them if they're going to celebrate with an open-top bus. <laughs> Exaggerating here, but it feels good to win. And now what they have to do is to continue the momentum, okay? In January, give Vincent Company a good budget so he can strengthen, get some quality, uh, and then go from there because... If they don't strengthen in January, they are not out of the wood yet. I would like to see Burnley stay in the Premier League, to be honest with you. Some statistics here, you can see that Burnley uh, dominated almost 64% uh, possession. They had like 7 shots on target, 19 shots together. But you can understand that when you play against the weakest team in the league, Sheffield United, and they were 10 and you were 11, you're going to have very good start. And they took their chances. Congratulations. All right, my people. So let's move on to the second game. Brentford against Luton Town. 3-1 at the end. Ben Me uh, with a goal for them. Uh, Mo, uh, Mope also with a goal and baptist shared on baptist with the third goal and then jacob brown scored the only goal for luton town uh this game it, it was expected i predicted 2-1 but it's 3-1 but it was kind of clear that burnley uh no brentford were going to to try and win this game so there is no even discussion about this one because clearly Brentford were far better than Luton Town look at some statistics here almost 69% for Brentford that is ball position 
Luton only 31%. Shot on target, 6 for Brentford, 1 for Luton Town, and they scored 1 goal. Shot all together, 27 for Brentford, only 7 for Luton Town. So Luton Town are, you know, they're still candidate to go to the to go back to the championship. But you never know. Let's wait and see what's gonna happen. Moving on, let's talk about Arsenal. The game started very well. It was beautiful tiki taka football for Arsenal. The first half, they could have scored at, le at least four goals. They scored only two goals in the first half. And the second half was more complicated for Arsenal because uh, Wolves didn't want to let themselves down. They didn't want to, like, you know, take it. And they, they fought for their lives, really, the second half. And Arsenal were hanging there, even though they got even more chances. They created chances. Eddie and Ketia, when he came on, he hit the post. They had chances here and there, some one-on-ones. But at the end, it was really nervy. Really nervy. After Wolves scored their goal, it was like, oh my goodness, what are we going to do now? And even at the end, Arsenal really were trying to keep the result. You know, take three points. When the game is getting complicated for you, you made it complicated for yourself, though. So, all you have to do is to try to get the three points and move on and keep building. So, Arsenal, they're going to take it, man. Three points are the most important at the moment. And you don't have to always win 5-0, 6-0 convincingly all the time. Sometimes, you just need to nick a goal, get a penalty, something goes for you you get the three point and you keep moving and let's check on some statistics here you see arsenal had uh 56 percent and they had six shots on target 19 shots all together a very good game i mean they are lacking uh that uh, clinical guy in front i respect jesus I respect Werner, but they are not really like proper, proper number nine. Arsenal still need a target man number nine in front. In January, Arsenal, if they want to win this league, go get a, a, a killer, a bully in the box. That's what they are missing at the moment. Because... They're going to regret it at the end of the season. Amazing team. Everything is clicking. They are on their prime now. The team, I mean, is on it prime. So it's time for Arteta to start delivering. No more excuses. I don't think anybody is going to accept any excuse this season. They have to win at least one big trophy. The Premier League or the Champions League. The FA Cup, mm, it's okay. It's a feel-good factor, but I think... Arsenal fans right now want a big one. Anyways, you can see here Odegaard scored for Arsenal, Saka also, and Matthews Kuna was 86th minute and the game became cagey and frustration, fear, you can tell. And really they got away with it, but nobody really cares my friends so let me just remind you the table so far arsenal at top with 33 point manchester city 29 point they're gonna play against tottenham Hotspurs. liverpool 28 point aston villa don't really pay attention to the point here because some some uh, some games are gonna change this table so this this is only after three games of match day number 14 so don't take it too seriously chelsea keep going down they are 11th now they're gonna play tomorrow against brighton at stanford bridge and bottom three you can see burley 18th oh wow they are they are not bottom anymore uh sheffield united 19th and everton 20th everton still fighting uh to get their point back because they were you know they they were subtracted from 
from the Premier League. So if they give them some point back, they might go a little bit further up. So it is what it is, people. Two games still to to be played, and I'll be there live in one of our channels. And uh, later on, I will make another video for you know the two remaining games. God bless.